In today's Community Connection, for most of us, taking a bath or a shower every day is a normal occurrence. We think nothing of it, but there is a growing population who cherish the chance to get clean. Since 2016, one man has been on a mission to ensure those living on the streets have access to a hot shower and a warm heart. What happens inside this trailer is life-changing. After all this time, I'm feeling like an outcast. Now I feel normal. It's like, oh, it's such a great feeling. You feel important. Yeah. It makes you feel important here. It was great. First one I had in about three weeks. I took one down there about three weeks ago. I, wa I wash up a lot, but shower is better. To have a place like this where you can come in and get clean, and get some clothes and sleeping bag if you need it, whatever, it's, it's great. Love it. This is an emotional experience for you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I say, <laughs> I'm used to 60 years old and I've worked since I was, well, since I was a kid on a farm. You know, I grew up on a farm, so I've been working all my life. So it's really hard to be out here and having to ask for money. And it's kind of, yeah, I don't know, kind of embarrassing sometimes, but. The seeing people when they arrive to when they leave, it's a completely different human being. Robert Thornton is the driving force behind Cloud Covered Streets, a Valley nonprofit cleaning up the stigma of homelessness. It was originally just a 24 foot empty cargo trailer. And then basically my dad and I did the majority of the work. And so now we have two rooms on the front half. Each of those rooms have a full size shower and they also have a bench. So people can shower, but they also can sit to change in and out of their clothes. The middle room on our shower trailer is our laundry room where we have two stackable washer and dryer units. And then the back end of our trailer, the back room, the gate actually folds down to make a ramp. And that's where we have our ADA wheelchair accessible shower because there are so many people on the streets that are in wheelchairs and I wanted to make sure that that they had a place where they could shower. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, Robert sets up his mobile shower and laundry trailer at different locations around the valley. Today, dozens of men and women line up here at St. Vincent de Paul's main dining campus in Mesa. So it takes an hour to set up this mobile unit and it says showering our streets with love. What does that mean to you? Basically, it means to me just showing compassion, kindness, and, and, and love really to people who very rarely receive it. Robert's mission is to stop the stereotypes surrounding homelessness. Unfortunately, the masses work really hard to dehumanize those that are on the streets. We want to label them as, as drunks, as lazy, as drug addicts, and not really getting to know that person and get to know their story. The number one thing that we can do is to make a connection with these people. The calm before the storm. <laughs> Cloud Covered Streets doesn't just provide free showers. Each person also gets a new t-shirt, new pair of underwear, socks, a bag of toiletries, and sometimes even shoes. <laughs> that was good to do, Tommy. That's good, man. <laughs> and that's not all. A handful of barbers and stylists also donate their time and talent to help make these remarkable transformations complete. feel normal again. For 12 years, Elliot has been experiencing homelessness and is trying to get back on his feet. It's such a blessing. I mean, just going without living in the van, it's tough. It's really tough. And just getting this is, is such a blessing. You got soap and a fresh shirt. It's just, oh, the, those little things that really matter. Hmm. Little things like calling Elliot, Larry, Rick, and Kevin by their names. Any mental health issues you might have are just gonna continue to, to just accelerate rapidly when you're, when you're dirty and you don't feel good about yourself. And so if we can help them and build their self-esteem and make them feel better about themselves, uh, we couldn't ask for anything more. Robert is banking on social media and the kindness of strangers to keep cloud covered streets rolling. One of the things obviously we can always use is, is funding. You know, we've, we've been able to do this literally just by scratching and clawing and small donations. It's all just been by members of the community going to our website and, and donating five, 10, $20 a piece, you know? And so we're, we're always, always looking for, for donations, for if, if any corporations want to help out and sponsor, we would, we would really like that. And we're always needing volunteers as well. Volunteers from Geneva Financial are on hand, supporting the mission of Cloud Covered Streets. Like Robert, the award-winning mortgage lender is spreading the word to be a good human. 
it is so easy to be kind. And so that's, that's what we try to remember, whether it's in the loan process or outside in our communities, it takes nothing to, to be good to others. The impact that we hope Be A Good Human has is, is genuinely to inspire everybody to, to do just that, to be a good human. There, there's no job that will ever be as rewarding and fulfilling as, as doing this. Robert takes his mobile shower and laundry trailer out three times per week, and he helps about 35 to 50 people experiencing homelessness each trip. Robert shared with me it costs about $15,000 to operate cloud-covered streets each month. If you are interested in donating or volunteering, you can contact Robert at cloudcoveredstreets.org.